CM Punk will probably not go to WWE after his AEW run is done. Now that I have your attention for opening up hot, let's talk about CM Punk. If you guys aren't up to date with what happened at the AEW Media Scrum, please go catch yourself up. It's been like three months. I'm not going to reiterate the whole thing. CM Punk squared up with Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks. That's the best abbreviation I have for you. All parties got suspended, including CM Punk's friend and I believe at the time AEW coach or agent A. Steel, who has now been confirmed to have been fired by AEW, which was the right move to make. And while the status of Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks are still looming, we're now starting to get reports about what's going on with CM Punk. The following quote was made by Dave Meltzer on the latest episode of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. AEW is in talks with Punk about the future, but right now it is doubtful he will be back. Not only just the fight, but given how unhinged he was on the AEW media scrum, I wouldn't bring him back either. I don't care how popular he is. Continuing on, those with close knowledge of the situation said they are in talks with Punk about a buyout of the remaining years of his contract, which tells you that they are not looking to bring him back. CM Punk is likely the highest paid wrestler in AEW, if not second or third. If he only worked one of the three years on his contract, that means they've only paid him a third of his downside guarantee. That's a lot of money to pay off for CM Punk to get released, so they must be really serious about this whole thing. The holdup right now is said to be a non-compete period. Obviously, if the non-compete is an issue, it's about interest in going to WWE because there's no need for a non-compete otherwise because nobody else but AEW and WWE can pay him close to what he's making. Let's be honest, he's not going to Impact, he's not going to New Japan, and he's not working the indie scene. So WWE and AEW are his only options. I've been seeing a lot of people saying, oh, it's petty of AEW to have a no compete and not have him go anywhere, da 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 If I'm Tony Khan and I have to pay CM Punk upwards of one to two million dollars just to release him, yeah, no, you're getting a no compete clause. I'm not paying you anywhere from a million to two to three million dollars just for you to take the money I just gave you and go to another company. You're getting a no compete clause. I'm with Tony Khan on that. According to Fightful, one WWE source says Triple H wants to make compelling programming. CM Punk back in WWE is compelling programming, but I can't see it being a full-time deal like what he has in AEW. CM Punk has never had anything good to say about Triple H in the past. It's well documented Triple H does not like CM Punk, or at least he didn't like CM Punk. Now Triple H is in charge. I don't think it's a situation of will Triple H sign CM Punk. I think it's more of will CM Punk be willing to work under Triple H. I personally don't see CM Punk's ego allowing him to do that. On top of that, if he gets paid upwards of a million dollars to get released by AEW, he doesn't need to work for wrestling ever again. He's well set. WWE also does not need CM Punk. He's been thriving without him for seven years. Would he give a boost for the ratings? Yes. He also boosted AEW's ratings. And now they stabilize without him. Wherever CM Punk goes, the Elite will not. WWE is better off with the Elite than CM Punk. What do you guys think?